It doesn't get any more exciting than this. The University of Charleston is constructing the Russell and Martha Worley Innovation Center. That center will recognize two outstanding individuals who contributed so much to West Virginia. We plan for the renovation and the new construction to be completed by July 2016, and it can't come too quickly. This center will provide the hub for innovation activities for all of our students, and it will also provide the athletic home for our basketball and volleyball squads. For a long time, we've looked forward to replacing Eddie King Gymnasium, and that is happening now. We look forward to the contribution that it will make to each and every student. It really will provide added value to their educational experience at the University of Charleston. The Innovation Center will be a dramatic addition in front of the current gymnasium. The facade will become a focal point on campus. The entrance will be right there for everyone to see. It's hard to believe, but the entrance for the center will be above the canopy over the current gymnasium doors. You will enter the center on the concourse level and you will be in a large two-story atrium that surrounds you with images and thoughts of innovation. Not wanting to detract from the innovation aura of the entrance, we have placed the concession area up a few steps and around to the left. Just beyond the concessions is the Athletic Hall of Fame, where we will continue to honor UC's outstanding teams and athletes. From the entrance atrium, if you turn to your right, you will see a spectacular glass wall and the entrance for the Innovation Hub. The visuals will entice you to go deeper into the world of innovation. Inside that hub, you will find an inspiration area filled with exhibits and artifacts to help you think creatively. There will be a staircase to take you to the second floor of the Innovation Center and a meeting room where teams of students can learn from successful entrepreneurs. If from the atrium you go straight ahead, you will approach the entrance to the athletic facility. You will be at the current balcony level looking down on the court stretched out in front of you. It will go from south to north instead of the current east-west layout. So you will be at the end of the court, which will be very different from coming in on the side as we do now. You will walk down to the seats and to the floor level. Once you are on the floor level, you can go just beyond the north end of the court to find the locker rooms for visiting teams. Or you can go in the opposite direction, beyond the south end of the court and under the entrance atrium to find locker rooms for game officials and coaches. There are also areas to house the mechanical infrastructure of the building and locker rooms for UC's basketball and volleyball teams. And there's an athletic training room for treating and taping athletes. Up on the second level of the athletic arena, one floor up from the entrance or concourse level, there is a suite where the president can entertain guests and donors to encourage them to fund the next major UC project. There are meeting rooms with a view of the court. These rooms could also be used for receptions during games. Offices for athletic training faculty and staff will be on the second floor along with a classroom for instruction. We also find the second floor of the Innovation Center. It can be reached by the stairs inside the center or by the elevator on the west end of the second floor. The second floor of the Innovation Center will have a couple of offices, an innovation classroom with fully mobile furnishings, and a large area for teams of students to work together on their projects and ideas. Finally, on the third level of the Innovation Center will be a conference room where coaches can meet with recruits and their families. For the first time, we will have video rooms for teams to look at game tapes. And we will have offices for the athletic director and for all of our coaches and assistants. It's fun to look at the elevation drawing for the center. You can see the current parking lot that will now have an upward incline toward the building. You can see the level of the new court that is exactly the same as the level of the current court. Taking note of the location of the current entrance to Eddie King Gym will help you appreciate again the size of the addition that will appear in front of the gym. 
Then when you look at the new entrance, you can appreciate the change in elevation from the current entrance, and you can appreciate the height of the Innovation Center. Everything about the Innovation Center is exciting and promising. What may change campus even more than the building itself is that we will have green space in the middle of campus. We will have areas where students can gather and hang out. There will be trees, plants, grass, and seating between the Innovation Center and Cherokee Avenue, and also in front of the Student Union. Join me in watching the building grow and join me in anticipating all that the Russell and Martha Worley Innovation Center will mean for UC and for each and every student who attends here in the years to come.